Hi, this is Paul from Third Space Learning, and today we're going to look at using Pythagoras' theorem to work out the lengths of one of the shorter sides. Now, make sure you've watched our video on finding the longer side using Pythagoras' theorem. You'll find the link in the description below. As usual, I'll be using our online classroom to go through the topic, look at some questions, and then at the end of the video, you'll find links to our free resources, practice questions, and information on our one-to-one -one in school tutoring. Okay, let's look at Pythagoras' theorem to find the shortest side of a right angled triangle. Grab a pen and let's dive in. So we remember that Pythagoras' theorem is used to work out the lengths of right angled triangles. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now in order to work out one of those shorter sides, all we have to do a squared equals c squared minus b squared. So let's have a look at that in a little more detail. Here's a right angle triangle. We've got a hypotenuse length, the longest side, of 5, and another length of 4. So let's square these. We can square 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And we can square 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Now let's subtract these. 25 subtract 16 is 9. And what we worked out there is the square of that missing side. And then to work out the actual missing side, all we can do is take the square root of it. So we've got a squared equals c squared subtract b squared. Let's see how this looks on the real exam question. Below we have a right angled triangle. So we can see that we've got two of the sides of the right angle triangle and we want to work out the third. So we can use Pythagoras. And Pythagoras' theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, let's get the triangle labelled. Well, the side opposite the right angle is the longest side, that's c. And then a and b, it doesn't really matter. So let's have a as the side we don't know and b as the side we do. Now, because we want to work out a, let's rearrange Pythagoras' theorem. So let's subtract b squared from both sides of Pythagoras' theorem. Well, if we do that, what we're left with is a squared on the left and c squared take away b squared on the right. And this tells me that we're going to square the longest side, we're going to square one of the shorter sides, and we're going to subtract them. So let's put the numbers in. Well, a is x. So let's replace that, x squared. c is 13, so that's 13 squared. And b is 5, so let's take away 5 squared. 13 squared is 169. 5 squared is 25. And then 169 take away 25 is 144. So that's x squared. We want to work out the length x, so let's take the square root of that. 144 square rooted, which is 12. And the all important units are centimetres. Now, a common mistake people make here is by taking away the 13 and the 5 in the wrong order. We need to make sure we always take away the shorter side from the longer side, because if we don't, we'll end up with a negative length, which is impossible. Quick check to make sure our answer is sensible. Now we wanted to work out one of the shorter sides. So 12 should be shorter than the longest side, which is 13. And it is, so that looks great to me. And we can pop that on the answer line, 12 centimeters. Let's see where the marks come from. So it's a two mark question. One mark is for correctly substituting the numbers into Pythagoras. And the second mark comes from the final answer. Here's a second exam question. Pause the video and have a go. See if you can work out what Y is. OK, let's have a go. So triangle DEF is right angled. And we can see the right angle here. We know two of the sides, 5 and 7. And we want to find Y correct to one decimal place. OK, so this means we can use Pythagoras. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 
Let's label our triangle. Now C is always the longest side and it's the side opposite that right angle. So that's C there, seven. And then A and B doesn't matter. So let's have A as the side we don't know and B as the side we do. Now, because we want to work out A, we need to rearrange Pythagoras. So let's take B squared away from both sides So we're left with a squared is equal to c squared, take away b squared. Okay, let's substitute in the values. So we've got a, which is y, so that's y squared. c is 7, so that's 7 squared. Subtract b, which is 5, 5 squared. Now, because it says to one decimal place, the answer is probably going to be a decimal. So let's just pop this straight into the calculator. So 7 squared, take away 5 squared, is 24. Let's look at y. Let's take the square root of 24, which is equal to 4.89897 dot dot dot. Always a good idea to write down a good number of decimal places. Now it says to one decimal place, so let's round it. The 8 is in the first decimal place, so let's draw a line to the right. Now we've got a nine there, so nine is bigger than five, so we're going to round up. So my answer is 4.9, 4 4.9 centimeters. Those are all the important units. Let's do a quick check to make sure the answer is sensible. So we wanted to work out one of the shorter sides. So 4.9 should be smaller than the longest side of the triangle, the hypotenuse, which is seven. And it is, so that looks great. So let's put that on the answer line, 4.9 centimetres. Thanks so much for watching the video. Check out the description below for loads more information on this topic and for access to our library of free online resources and loads of information on our one-to-one -one tuition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Third Space Learning videos.